Now let us start the next chapter that is uh, quadrilaterals. Now what is a quadrilateral? A simple closed figure bounded by the four line segments is called a quadrilateral. So triangle means the simple closed figure bounded by three line segments but whereas the quadrilateral means the simple closed figure bounded by four line segments is called a quadrilateral. So let us write the definition of a quadrilateral. A simple closed figure bounded by four line segments is called a quadrilateral. Now let us draw the figure of a quadrilateral. Now this is a quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Now what are the different parts of the quadrilateral A, B, C, D? So the first one is the sides, four sides. So the four line segments which form the quadrilateral are called the sides. So the namely AB, BC, CD and DA. So these are the four sides and four vertices. So the vertices where the two, two sides meet in the corner. So these four corners are called the four vertices A, B, C and D. These are the four vertices and four angles. And at each vertex an angle is formed. So the four angles are angle A, angle B, angle C and angle D. Now the two diagonals. Diagonals means so diagonals means the line segment joining the opposite vertices. Here you see is a diagonal and BD also diagonal AC and BD so diagonals means the line segment joining the opposite vertices line segment joining opposite vertices so the line segment joining the opposite vertices are called the diagonals of the quadrilateral. Now let us write the next adjacent sides. Adjacent sides means the sides which have the common vertex are called the adjacent sides. sides having common vertex so these are the adjacent sides what are the sides having the common vertex a b b c next b c comma c d next c d comma d a Next, DA comma AB. So these are the adjacent sides. Now the adjacent vertices. So 
so adjacent vertices means now a b a b the two vertices which have the common side now the vertices having common side so like a comma b b comma c c comma d and d comma a next adjacent angles So adjacent angles means same as the adjacent vertices. Now angles having common side. So angle A comma angle B, angle B comma angle C, angle C comma angle D. Angle D comma angle A. So these are the four pairs of adjacent sides, adjacent vertices, and adjacent angles. Now let us write the opposite sides, opposite vertices, and also opposite. angles opposite sides the two sides without the common vertex are known as the opposite sides so here ab and dc so these two are opposite sides and bc ad are also opposite sides the two sides without any common vertex so there are two pairs of opposite sides sides without common vertex so those two sides are AB comma DC and AD comma BC. So these two are the opposite sides. Next, opposite vertices. So opposite vertices means these are also two pairs. So the vertices without the common side. A C so these two are the opposite vertices they do not have any common side and B D also so we can write the vertices without common side so those two are A comma C and B comma D so these are the opposite vertices. Now the opposite angles. So these are also two pairs. So then we can write the opposite angles as angles without common side. So the Angles without common side are angle A, angle C, angle B, angle D. So these are the opposite angles. Angle A and angle C, angle B and angle D. These are the opposite angles. So we can write angle A comma angle C, angle B comma angle D. Now in the quadrilateral ABCD, so there are four sides and the four vertices and also four angles. and there are two diagonals and there are four pairs of adjacent sides 
4 pairs of adjacent vertices and 4 pairs of adjacent angles 